What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.6 beta 3 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. And this comes a little over a week after the second beta of iOS 14.6 and about a week after iOS 14.5.1 was released to the public. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 14.6 beta 3, watchOS 7.5 beta 3, macOS Big Sur 11.4 beta 3, and tvOS 14.6 beta 3. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 14.6 beta 3 and what has changed since iOS 14.5.1 and of course since the second beta. So let's start off with the size of this update. You can see here the size it came in around 340 megabytes here on my iPhone 12. Of course that size will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from but that of course is coming from beta 2. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this third beta here. Settings general about and you can see the build number there is 18F5065A. So we do have an A at the end of the build number, but if you guys remember in iOS 14.5, when that was in the beta stages, we had like five versions in a row that ended with an A. So that doesn't necessarily mean we're close to a final release, but I do think that we are close to a final release. I think we will get 14.6 in the month of May. And we'll talk more about that near the end of this video. If we go down a little bit to check out the modem firmware, you can see that has also been updated here in this beta. It's now 1.71. 0 .00. So if you had any issues related to the modem, cell connectivity, those could be solved in this latest release. So now what's new here in beta three? And the first thing comes from Apple themselves in the release notes here for 14.6 beta three. They say this fixes an issue during startup where iPhone may experience reduced performance. So if you had reduced performance during the startup, which I have read from a few of you guys ever since like iOS 14.5, that is solved here in beta three, and that will be solved in iOS 14.6. So I heard this from a lot of people ranging from the iPhone 7 all the way up to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if you did have that issue, you will be very happy to know that that has been resolved here in this latest update. Another thing that's been fixed here in beta three is the hidden menu in the Find My application. When you go to Find and you tap on the name of the AirTag right here four times, you can see there the hidden menu no longer appears. So if you guys watched my follow-up video from the weekend, I did show you that hidden menu. And if you wanna see what that looks like, it's a dev menu, it's like a developer menu here inside of the Find My application that was definitely not supposed to be seen by the public, but it was really cool uh, but that has been fixed as expected here in the third beta of 14.6 and speaking of the air tags in the find my application there's a new feature when you enable loss mode here in this third beta so if you go ahead to enable and you go to continue you can see it now shows use an email address so before you had to use your phone number but now in beta 3 and of course with ios 14.6 you will be able to use an email address instead of your phone number which will show up of course when somebody finds your lost air tag and they scan it it will show them your email address so they can contact you so that is a nice addition there as well that way it's not as big of a breach of privacy as well if you didn't want maybe random people having your phone number we also got a couple of new splash screens here in beta 3 so i'd not seen these anytime before they just popped up for the first time for me but you can see this is the one for podcasts and you can see it advertises the apple podcast subscriptions right there so i guess those are very very close to being released or at least being put out publicly by apple and it says support your favorite podcasters and unlock ad free listening bonus episodes and more so we kind of have a little bit more context as to what Apple podcast subscriptions are going to entail. Then it says podcast channels, discover all of the shows from your favorite podcasters in one place. So just advertising the new features that are coming. This is really gonna be over the air, but they are advertising it here on 14.6. Then we also got this splash screen when I opened up the App Store for the first time and it shows what's new on the App Store and Arcade and it shows app privacy details. Learn how developers may handle your data on app product pages so you can protect your privacy. So obviously 14.5 and 14.6 are both gonna be really focused on privacy, of course, with the app tracking transparency, and now this here inside of the app store as well. But those are just two new splash screens that I found here in this third beta. And speaking of that app tracking transparency feature, if we go down to that inside of privacy and tracking right here, I want you guys to check if you were having the grayed out issue, which I've been very vocal about here for months now, since February in 14.5 beta one, I've been very vocal about the bug where this section is just completely grayed out. But of course it's fixed for me now, so I cannot share with you guys if it's been fixed or not for me because mine's just been fine 
for a while now since 14.6 beta 1 but i do want you guys to check on every beta version and let me know down in the comment below if it has been fixed for you so in beta 3 i'm not so sure if this has been fixed or not for some people but let me know in a comment down below if this is no longer grayed out for you if it was beforehand apple has also begun surveying hong kong for the look around feature so the look around feature inside of maps will be coming to hong kong very soon that is this feature right here of course you can just go tap on look around and you get this little 3d view of what it actually looks like there which is really really neat this is in a lot of places in the u.s but it is coming to hong kong very soon and this of course will be a server-side update inside of maps when it is completed and speaking of maps there are no additional cities added for cycling directions i know a lot of people have been asking me since apple did just recently add cycling directions for all of california and for seattle a lot of people have been wanting those cycling directions to come to more cities but we have not seen anything added yet since then i did also notice that the handoff feature for the homepod mini is a little bit more sensitive in this update than it was in beta 2. so it's very inconsistent i'm trying to go over there a little bit closer to it but it seems to be very inconsistent but it brought up facetime audio for whatever reason so that is still something apple is working on and then also the airplay to homepod that was you know a big issue in the past for me mainly in 14.5 14.6 does fix it you know a little bit but it's still not completely fixed i still do have random lag i still sometimes get the music cue bug which by the way i did notice in 14.6 that that really only appears when i'm connected to bluetooth or when i'm doing like airplay to a home pod is when sometimes the first song is not being able to or is not able to be moved here inside of the music queue and if you look at my phone right now you will see one bug fix and one bug that is still remaining here in beta 3. so the message link previews here are fixed in beta 3 so you can see the full image now inside of twitter this probably just had to do with twitter updating the photos on their platform to not have the crop like it did before so that was you know affected inside of messages but now that is fixed you can see the full screenshot there inside of messages the preview there but also one thing that has not been fixed as you can see there it says not delivered even though this did get delivered and i did see it on my other phone but it's just a bug for whatever reason i message sometimes when you send photos it just simply says not delivered even though it was delivered so for whatever reason that is still not fixed here in beta 3. i was also facing that in beta 2 as i mentioned in my follow-up video yesterday and then as far as green tents goes of course i do not have the green tent issue on any of my devices but if you are on this third beta and you've been experiencing green tent in the past let me know down in a comment below if that's been fixed for you now as far as the performance goes here in 14.6 beta 3 it feels about the same as beta 2 so far but the fact that apple did say they fixed a performance related bug tells me that this might improve performance for some people so i will have a follow-up coming this weekend i will be using beta 3 on my main device my iphone 12 pro here throughout the entire week so i will have a good follow-up video for you guys this weekend but the performance should be about the same in my opinion but possibly better and if you go ahead and check out the geekbench scores right here you can see i scored a 1590 on the single core and a little bit lower on the multi-core there at a 3962 but this was pretty much right after i installed a little bit after i installed this on my phone so decent scores but again those don't always tell the full story although 14.5.1 did get really low geekbench scores so those are higher here on 14.6 for whatever that's worth and then of course battery life it's still too early to tell if battery life has been improved here on beta 3 although i've had perfectly fine battery life on beta 2 on my main device here again my iphone 12 pro and then also on my 2020 ipad pro i've had just fine battery life on beta 2 so i would expect the pretty much exact same with beta 3 but of course i will let you guys know in my follow-up video this weekend so now what is next for apple so today is monday may 10th and apple the last beta was released on a friday this one's released on a monday so it's just getting harder and harder by the day to predict when apple is going to release software but i think that we could actually see another update either beta 4 or the rc build as early as this week maybe at the end of this week maybe on like a thursday or friday we could see either beta 4 or the rc build and the only reason i say that is because next friday the new ipad pro and the new imac are being released and i would expect to see new software released alongside that probably before those actually get out to everybody so that would put the final release of 14.6 next week the week of the 17th 
So there is also the possibility of seeing it on the week of the 24th, but I think that Apple would push out the software before consumers get their hands on the new iPad Pro and the new iMac. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I really hope that we do get the RC on like a Thursday or Friday, and then we get the final on like maybe a Tuesday or a Wednesday. That would be nice, but we'll have to wait and see again. Apple is just so unpredictable nowadays. It's really, really hard to predict what they're gonna do here in 2021. Oh, and I can't forget talking about iOS 15 at beta one. We are less than a month away. June 7th is when we will see iOS 15 announced at the Worldwide Developers Conference that Apple is hosting from the 7th all the way through the 11th. And of course we will get the first beta if history is any indication. I mean, I just said how unpredictable Apple is, so who knows, but you know, 99% chance we'd get iOS 15 beta one on Monday, June 7th. And of course, that'll be a ton of fun to cover here on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed if you are not already before those iOS 15 videos come out. Of course, I will be live streaming as well on June 7th, talking about iOS 15 and kind of going over the new features before you see it from a lot of other people. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. That is iOS 14.6 beta three. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you enjoy these beta updates in general, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more coming your way very, very soon, especially next month when it comes to iOS 15. I plan on producing a ton of content here on the channel. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.